Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 luxury products that are well worth the splurge. A couple of these things are pretty pricey, but I would repurchase again and again. I stand by them 110% and I highly recommend everything here. But before we get into the very first item, I wanna quickly tell you about the Mother's Day sale that is happening right now over at Ana Luisa. We're about two and a half weeks out now from Mother's Day, so they are offering 15% off site-wide. I am, of course, wearing all Ana Luisa jewelry today, including these love earrings, which you've probably seen a lot. The latest piece in my collection is this little rhinestone butterfly necklace. It's very cute and delicate. I've paired that with this rhinestone choker. Some of their necklaces come pre-stacked, or you can create your own custom combination. I would say the majority of jewelry you see me wearing in my videos comes from Ana Luisa because their pieces are just so easy to style. They make wonderful everyday pieces. Everything is very timeless. I would describe the brand aesthetic as more minimal. Nothing is too trendy, so you don't have to worry about it going out of style in six months or even a year from now, and everything makes a wonderful gift. I know firsthand how beautiful their pieces make as a Mother's Day gift because I have given my mother jewelry from Ana Luisa, a pair of earrings. She loves them. She wears them constantly. Not only have I gifted Ana Luisa jewelry for Mother's Day, I have also gifted it to great friends for their birthdays, for special occasions, anniversaries, a loved one, maybe you're just looking for a gift for yourself. They have something to fit any budget because their prices start around $39 and they go up from there. Everything is high quality without the luxury markup. The jewelry comes with a one-year warranty and it's perfect timing since today is Earth Day because Ana Luisa is a 100% carbon neutral company. Their packaging is all sustainable, they use a lot of recycled materials, and they produce all of their pieces in very limited quantities, small batches to help eliminate waste. So if you ever see something on their website, I always recommend go ahead and pick it up because their top selling items tend to sell out pretty quickly. I will of course be linking the sale down below in the description box. I will also include a list of some of my favorite pieces from Ana Luisa. Now let's get into this list. The very first luxury product that is well worth the splurge is the Sisley Eye Contour Mask. It's been a while since I've talked about this, but it remains one of my favorite must have holy grail skincare items. I use this just about every single day. The only reason I don't use it or I skip is because I'm rushing and I don't have the time or I don't really think about it. Anytime I'm doing my makeup and I'm really taking the time, I always apply just a pinch of this mask. I've had this one now for, I'd say, at least 18 months. I'd have to double check, but I still have probably 60, 70% of the product left, and the key is you only need to use such a small amount. So while it seems expensive at $155 a pop, the truth is it's going to last you for such a long time. It's actually an incredible value, I would argue. I don't use this as an eye mask. So when I apply this, I don't apply all over the eye, let it sit for 20 minutes and then towel dry. I could if I wanted to. I just simply don't. I have other products. If I'm going to mask, I mask my entire face. But I like to use this in conjunction with my concealer. So sometimes I use it as the last step of skincare right before I go on with my foundation or I apply it on top of my foundation before I apply concealer. It has this consistency that never really dries down, so it really does wonders to keep this area right here that tends to get really dry and creepy later on in the day. It keeps this area hydrated for hours. This product is really for everybody, unless you are so young that you don't have any dryness, no fine lines, your concealer never creases, then of course you could go ahead and skip it. But if your concealer does tend to crease, if you do have some dryness, the first signs of aging and lines around your eyes, this product will make such a huge difference the first time you use it, which is really amazing. Now, it's not going to replace your eye cream. That is a question I've been asked before. You still have to go in with your hydration products, your serums, everything else, and then this is the last step. It almost creates a moisture barrier between your skincare, it locks in your skincare, so when you go on top with your liquids, your creams, your powders, which your cream products are going to dry down. And sometimes if it's sitting directly on the skin, it can dry out the skin. This acts as that perfect moisture barrier. So your foundation isn't going to dry out your under eye. When you feel your skin underneath your eyes later on, 
it still feels soft and supple. I applied some as I was getting ready for the day. I just dabbed a little bit more underneath my eyes just to show you what it looks like and about how much you need to use each time. So I might look a little glossy, a little shiny underneath my eyes, but at least I am nice and hydrated. So this next product I have talked about recently, this is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. It's pricey for a liquid eyeliner until you consider just how long it lasts, just like the Sisley Eye Contour Mask. It has two cartridges inside, so right away you're getting two eyeliners for that price. One side is a brush tip. This is what I typically use on a daily basis. It's very easy. And then the other side is a sponge tip. This is great for precision. If you're going in the inner corner or you want to create a really dramatic cat eye, I use this one. Both are great. As soon as you run out of one, you can just switch over to the other or depending on what look you want to create, you might end up using both sides. The retail price is $59 for the pen. So it's $29.50 per eyeliner. That's basically on par with most luxury brands. Tom Ford tends to be a little bit higher than most luxury brands, but this has got to be the longest lasting eyeliner I have ever used. I've been using this now almost every day for nearly a year at this point and there is no sign that it's starting to lose ink it's not even starting to slow down at all i did pick up a replacement during the sephora sale just in case but i don't even think i'm going to be using my backup for a really long time it's not often we talk about luxury products as being a good value but i think in the long run this is the better buy luxury product number three is the lipstick that i'm wearing today this is from jimmy choo I love these lipsticks and it's not necessarily this shade. I'll tell you what I'm wearing though. This is Tender Pink 008. I think it's either an eight or a six. I think that's an eight. I have two shades of these and I absolutely love them. I think the packaging is incredible. It's weighted. It feels amazing. The formula of these lipsticks is incredible. So many little details. The reason this lipstick makes the list is because out of all of my extreme luxury lipsticks, the Jimmy Choo is my favorite. I think this is better than the Hermes. I think it's better than the Christian Louboutin lipsticks and I'll tell you why. This retails for $64 or $65, so it is very expensive for a lipstick. When it arrives, it comes in this beautiful box. I've tossed the packaging, but it's very pretty. It looks like a perfume, it's so big. And then you have this really pretty slip cover that protects the heel. I'm sure it's not leather, but it kind of feels leathery. The cream color just looks very chic. The gold, it says Jimmy Choo, and it looks like a little stiletto heel. Just beautiful little details. This gold ball on top, absolutely stunning. When you twist it up, even the tube of lipstick itself is etched in this animal print design. And then it does say JC. There's a little Jimmy Choo logo embossed right on the lipstick. So pretty. The formula is very creamy. I would say this formula is very similar to the Tom Ford. It's creamy. It's opaque. The color lasts. It really stains your lips. It feels very comfortable to wear. So the formula is amazing. The details on all of the packaging are incredible. It's not very small, so you couldn't fit this in a tiny clutch, but if you are ever out and about and you pull this lipstick out of your purse to reapply, people are going to ask you, what is that? What are you about to apply on your lips? It's just amazing to look at and it's not widely available, so it's a bit more rare, which I think adds to why it's so special. When I compare to the Hermes lipstick, which is also very beautiful, this is a bit more understated luxury more simple packaging, very beautiful, around the same price. These might even be a little bit more expensive. I just think visually, this is so much more special. If you're purchasing a wow lipstick, you really want to splurge on something incredible. Maybe you're marking an occasion like a wedding day lipstick or a special anniversary lipstick, something like that where you wanna go big. I think this is going to give you that wow factor a little bit more than this. I like the formula. I think they're a little bit less pigmented, a little bit less creamy. They don't quite hug the lips the way the Jimmy Choo does. Now the Christian Louboutin lipsticks, this comes with all of the pomp and circumstance in the packaging. The little talisman, it's very interesting. 
but these lipsticks are $90. They're heavy, they're beautiful, definitely make a statement. Again, I go back to the formula. I just think the Jimmy Choo lipstick formula is a bit better than the Christian Louboutin. And because these retail for $90 compared to $65, I just think if I had to choose one, I personally would go with the Jimmy Choo. There's another lipstick on the list. This is the Chanel Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. Still a luxury item, of course it's Chanel, but a bit more reasonable in price. These are now $38, or did it go up to $40? Around the $40 mark. I remember when these were still $36, it's so sad. Still expensive, but the reason I think this is definitely worth the splurge is because it is so long lasting. I've gone through several of these lipsticks, so when I say long lasting, I don't mean it's going to last you months and months and months. If you wore this every single day, you'd probably go through it completely in maybe three to four months, but it stays on your lips for hours, and I'm talking 24 hours and beyond. It's insane. Transfer resistant, so unless you are really rubbing and going crazy on your lips, it's not going to budge once this dries down. So it's perfect for masks, perfect for weddings or any sort of occasion when you're going to be kissing loved ones, kissing your significant other, you're not going to get lipstick all over their face. This one right here is Timeless Beige and I've been wearing this almost every single day because I'm starting to use it up and I just really want to go through some of the lipsticks in my collection. I have so many that I wouldn't even need to replace it so I'm trying to use this up with all my might but I still have plenty left. I just love the shade range is great now, the longevity, the lasting power. I find them to be pretty comfortable. That's the one complaint I've heard about them, but the trick is you have to top it off with the gloss. So once you go in with the pigment on this side, it dries down, it becomes kind of tacky. If you like a matte lip, you might be tempted to just leave it, but no, don't do that. <laughs> Top it off with the gloss, it's what keeps it comfortable. And then if you need to reapply the gloss throughout the day, they actually changed them a couple years ago. They extended the gloss, so they added a little bit more gloss than the pigment. More recently, I've been receiving a lot of questions about my nail polish color, and it is Tutul from Christian Louboutin. I've been wearing this consistently for the last few months. I think this is the most annoying product on the list because I hate that I'm recommending a $50 nail polish. Seems outrageous, and it is. Can you purchase a similar shade that is less expensive? Yes, absolutely. You can purchase a less expensive version of all of these products, of course, it comes with the luxury territory. It's going to have a higher price point. It looks beautiful. I keep it displayed on my vanity and it just looks very chic, but it is definitely a splurge. Now, the reason why I say it's worth the money or I'm recommending it in today's video is because it really does last. I hate myself for saying it, but it lasts so much longer than other nail polishes. I've tried Dior, Chanel, Gucci. I've tried, I have a, several Debra, Debra Lippmann, SC nail polishes, OPI of course. Out of all of the at-home manicure nail polishes, I think this one is the best. It's crazy how good it actually is. Now I usually go in with two coats of this and then I do a top coat of this SC gel top coat. So that adds a nice thick clear coat on top. I painted my nails on Sunday and they are looking pretty darn good. They're not perfect but they're looking pretty good. In fact, I only really have one little chip right here to speak of. The cuticle looks okay. This cuticle is looking kind of funny, but I'm not a professional. <laughs> so it's hard to judge my manicure that I painted myself. It never looks that great. I'm gonna show you up close. Today is Thursday. I painted them four days ago. That's pretty good. I almost never have nail polish lasts that long and I'm very hard on my nails. I'm constantly opening packages and removing stickers, things like that. I'm very hard on my hands, which is why I refuse to pay for manicures. I know I would ruin them. I think it looks high quality. It looks classy. It goes with everything. So I love this shade in particular. Again, it's called Tutul and I'm about halfway through the bottle because I've been using it every week for a couple of months. When I finally run out of this, I'll just go ahead and replace it. I won't even think twice about it because it's just become so ingrained in my routine. I don't want to be without it.
Product number six is the By Terry Face Palette. I recently picked up this Beach Balm palette. It is still available, and I have last year's Sunny Flash. So pretty, you can tell just by looking at them, the packaging is amazing. But I love these, and I'm going to use the V Word again. I think they are a great value, which is so rare when it comes to luxury products. But inside, you get two blushes, a highlight, and a bronzer. So it is basically four products, three face products in one. The palette is nice and slim. So even though it is a bit larger, I think this is great for travel. It's a very convenient size. It's not too bulky. And when you look at it, it's stunning. I love the design. It's so colorful. It feels really high quality. It's beautiful enough to display on a vanity, but it's tough enough that you could throw this in a travel bag. The product inside is amazing. It smells like rose. I love the shades. I love the texture. The highlights in these palettes are a bit softer. They're a bit more subtle. So do I love the highlight? No, it's not my favorite. The blushes are great. The bronzer, I guess it depends on your skin tone, but if you look at the picture and you think, yeah, I can probably make that work, go ahead and pick up the palette because you won't be disappointed, even if you don't love the highlight. <laughs> I think these are so nice. They retail for $55, $56. So yes, it is pricey, but when I compare this to this from Hourglass, I would rather have these, and I know you get two additional products in this compact, but it's a lot bulkier. It's more expensive. This retails for $80, and I typically don't love all six of the products in this either. The bronzer is good. You get two blushes. The setting powders are almost always basically the same on the face. I don't think you really need two setting powders and then you get the strobe powder. The only benefit for the hourglass is you get two setting powders. I would still rather have the By Terry face palette. I think this is the better buy. I have another face palette here. If you're like me and you don't love the highlighters in the By Terry face palette, you should invest in one of these Dior highlighting palettes. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I picked up Rose Gold. I don't think this shade in particular is still available, but they do have other shades, and I don't really think you can go wrong. It's just really beautiful. This Backstage packaging is not my favorite from Dior, with this exception. I think this looks fine. It doesn't come with the mirror, and it retails for $45, which is so reasonable for a luxury product like this. I think the typical Dior highlighters are even more than that and you only get one shade. With this palette, you get four different shades and it's fun to customize. I never really saw the point in the highlighting palette until I picked this up and now I love it. And I've been using this just about every single day. I typically use the sheer gold pearl. Today I have on the metallic pink gold. So this has been in the top drawer. I use it constantly, it's really beautiful, I get tons of compliments, and it, it's probably one of the less expensive luxury highlighters I own, which is kind of crazy. 10 out of 10. Product number eight is another highlighter. Now this is definitely a splurge, splurge at $75. It's very expensive. This is from Westman Atelier, and I am still waiting to get my Get Ready With Me video posted. It's my last sponsored Sephora video for Sephora Squad. So as soon as that's approved, I will get it posted because I tested out all of these Westman Atelier products that I purchased during the sale. Not to give too much away, but I basically liked everything, but this, I loved. I did not expect to fall in love with it the way I did. It's the super loaded tinted highlight and I picked up the shade Peau de Rose. Peau de Rose, excuse me. I love this packaging. The matte black, it's so chic. It's just beautiful. It feels really heavy, very weighted. I like that it comes with the faux leather protector and then when you open it up, it's so creamy on the inside. The formula is very unique. It's unlike anything else I have. It's a little balmy, a little glossy, a little creamy, slightly iridescent even. It just looks so pretty on the skin. I'm in love with this highlighter. I wanna pick up every single shade. I definitely recommend getting this on sale somewhere, you know, waiting for a promotion, something like the Sephora Spring Savings event, but now that that's passed, Maybe wait for some sort of beauty promotion. Almost all of the retailers have them now. Wow. I have highlighter here, 
But then look at that. It looks pretty bright. You can see that pink highlighter from Dior. And this just takes it up a notch. Ooh, it's so pretty. Number nine on my list of luxury products worth the splurge is also kind of spendy. This is from Shantikai. It's their Faux Sils Longest Lash. I think maybe it had a little sticker and it disappeared. I was like, ah, what's the name? It just says Shantikai on it. I know they have two different mascaras, but because this one has the swirl, you know it's the one that has the peptides in the formula. That is why this mascara is so expensive, but the reason it makes the list is not just because it has peptides in the mascara. There are plenty of mascaras out there now that have some sort of special ingredient that's good for your lashes, but I really like the formula and I really like the brush. This mascara looks so fluffy, voluminous, but not too clumpy. It really makes your lashes look amazing. On top of that, it also has the peptides and the ingredients that are going to help protect your lashes because it helps strengthen them. If you're investing in a good lash serum because you want your lashes to grow even longer, like I use Babe Lash every single night, it also makes sense for you to pair your lash serum with something that's going to help with that growth and protection during the day, like this Longest Lash Mascara. I love how fluffy it looks on the lashes because I've been using my lash serum and they're a little bit longer. I really notice when it comes to formulas with mascaras, if it's a little bit too clumpy or the brush just isn't that great, you know because you have more surface area, you know, you have a longer lash to brush through. This has looked the best. I think since my lashes have grown so long, this is the best looking mascara. Coming in at number 10, the Guerlain Meteorite. Such a classic product. This is a staple in any luxury makeup collection, which makes this the most non-essential essential item on the list because you could skip this altogether on a daily basis. I don't grab for my meteorites. But when I do, it is just the perfect, luxurious way to finish your makeup. The meteorites give you a glow. This angelic, very ethereal, airbrushed look to your makeup. It's so beautiful. This is the Pearl Glow that launched as part of their spring collection. I picked up the Pearl Glow and the Pink Glow, and they were so hard to get a hold of, which is another reason why they make the list, because... There's something about them, especially the limited edition meteorites, that feels so special, very rare, which drives up the luxury. Guerlain does an incredible job, just a masterful job creating demand for their products with very limited supply. So when you see them, you have no choice but to pick them up. Unfortunately, that is part of building a true luxury brand is rarity. And if it was available everywhere and it wasn't hard to get a hold of, it wouldn't be as special. So there is something to it. And that completes today's list. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face. All of the information you need on the 15% off at Ana Luisa will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.